Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we get a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with a physique update of Samson Daura at 4 weeks out of Arnold Classic and wow, Samson Daura right now looks absolutely freaky. So in this physique update I gotta say his fullness and hardness definitely does look improved. Now as far as conditioning I don't really see a crazy, a significant difference. I guess you're gonna have to wait until like two weeks out, one week out to see something new, like a new level of conditioning from Samson Daura, or at least his Arnold Classic 2023 conditioning, because that was also pretty good conditioning for Samson. I mean, it wasn't great conditioning, but it was, I think, his best conditioning. And at this point, I don't think he changed much in the past couple of weeks as far as conditioning, as far as body fat, but he definitely did get fuller and harder. Now, you're wondering how can you accomplish that unless you lower your body fat percent? Well, there are ways. There are ways, and I'm sure you can guess what ways are those, but that's definitely what I'm seeing. I'm not gonna assume what he's doing. I can definitely see that he looks fuller, rounder, and harder, especially through the chest, shoulders, and arms. His legs are never an issue, especially from the front, like the quads are always peeled, I mean not really peeled, but pretty hard, pretty conditioned, and they're really well shaped and really big for a taller bodybuilder like that, with his proportions as well, he has like longer legs, which just makes his physique more aesthetic, it makes it look like it flows better, which is definitely a big thing for the Arnold Classic, because at that show, I think we can notice that at that show, structure, proportion, symmetry are criteria that is important in the judging, more so than at the Mr. Olympia, where mass is probably the number one thing, but, you know, Samson, he doesn't lack any mass, like, he is freaking massive, and especially in this physique update, I mean, he looks basically perfectly symmetrical and proportionate, right? I mean, what is the problem there? Is he lacking anything in this shot? Even the midsection is awesome, the waist size is there, like, the calves are even there, everything is spot on. At one point, maybe his shoulders were a weak point, but not anymore. He definitely improved those shoulders, they're definitely much rounder, much bigger, and all that combined with his large frame, I mean, he's a tall guy, big bodybuilder, and with all this muscle and the way it's shaped, you know, it's really hard for anybody to beat this guy, and if his conditioning is looking like this, at 4 weeks out, he's this hard, at 4 weeks out, if he continues progressing in the next 4 weeks, unless he stagnates and stays the same, if he gets a little bit harder, a little bit sharper, man, it's gonna be hard to beat him, even for Hari Japan. In my previous Arnold Classic 2024 update videos, I was pretty sure that Hari Japan was gonna win this show, especially lately. When the prep started, I was like, Samson, and then when I saw what Hari looks like, when I saw that Hari improved, I thought, Samson can't beat him. You know, because Hari already beat him in the Mr. Olympia, and if Hadi comes in even better, even bigger, I don't know how much Samson can improve, even though his history shows that he always makes improvements, especially for the past couple of years, I thought maybe this year he won't be able to, so I said, until I see something new from Samson, something I never saw before, I'm gonna believe that Hadi is gonna win it, but after seeing this physique update, I don't know, man, at this point, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a tie for me right now. I don't know, I can't say Samson is gonna win it, but I can't say Samson is gonna lose it, because look at this, guys, look at this, this is looking super freaky, I'm gonna show you what Hardy looks like, because he also looks insane right now, but can this physique lose, <laughs> can this physique lose Arnold Classic, he already won it last year, can somebody better really show up and beat this, if Samson is shredded, and I think he's going to be shredded finally, at this show, if he's really, really shredded, and also big and full and hard at the same time, I, I don't know, I don't know, I know how crazy hard he is, but let me just put it this way, if Samson is 100%, and that means conditioned and full and hard and everything, then Samson wins, that being said, here is a physique update of Hari Japan, and he has been really active lately, he is posting physique updates basically every day, so it's really hard to notice changes, 
but it's actually noticeable. I mean, he is getting harder and fuller at the same time, and I think bigger. I don't know what he is doing, how he's making these improvements so fast, but I already spoke about this. I believe it's because he's finally doing a post-show rebound hardcore, right? Because recently, since he basically started competing at the Mr. Olympia, he was always qualified for the next year's Mr. Olympia. He never did the Arnold or other shows. He was always only doing the Mr. Olympia. So after the Mr. Olympia, he was never utilizing the post-show rebound, and this is the first time he's utilizing it since 2019, I believe. I was fall I mean, maybe he was doing it, but he wasn't posting anything. But as far as I know, this is the first time he's doing that. And it seems like his body is responding like crazy. <laughs> I believe Hadi at the Arnold Classic is going to be his absolute best version. And especially now that he's so driven since he lost the Mr. Olympia, he's coming with redemption. So, yeah, he's going to look insane. He's gonna look crazy, and I know, I know how insane it is to say that somebody is going to beat this bodybuilder, but, you know, Samson is, like, really, really complete at this point, he's really hard to beat, but if anybody can do it right now in this world, I mean, there's only two guys that beat Samson Dauda last year, and that's Derek and this guy right here. So, I think at this point, both of these guys are gonna be improved, and if they're improved the same amount... Since Hardy already beat Samson the Mr. Olympia, I guess Hardy is going to win again. But if Samson is more improved, and also he has the advantage of competing at the Iron Classic stage, where they're looking for more aesthetic physiques, not blocky, freaky physiques like that of Hardy. And there's also the thing of knocking out champion, and Samson is currently the champion, but I don't think that really holds much truth. Uh, especially the Arnold Classic. It used to be a thing at the Mr. Olympia, unless you knock out the champion, you don't beat him, but I don't think that's a thing anymore. And the Arnold Classic, I don't think it ever was. So I don't think that's an advantage for Samson. The only advantage he has against this freak right here, this monster, is like his height, his structure, his symmetry, his aesthetics. But, you know, as far as like the size, you know, for their frame, and as far as the hardness, the conditioning... I mean, Hardy is going to be better, for sure. He's definitely freakier, he's more conditioned, so it's going to be an epic battle in four weeks, and you guys tell me what do you think he's going to win, and don't tell me who do you want to win, who are you a fan of. Me, personally, as you guys probably know, I'm a big fan of Samson, I'm cheering for him, but I'm not saying he's going to be better, I'm not sure about that. If you guys have an opinion, who's going to win, who you think is going to win, like, who the judges will choose who is actually gonna beat who on that stage, tell me down below, but if you don't know, you can just tell me who do you want to see win. Alright, next we got a quick update of James Hollins yet, but I wanted to show you what I found very, very interesting here. It's the comment from the Arnold Classic official Instagram page, and they commented on James' post and they say, Caucasian dry. And I don't know if you guys uh, watch James on his podcast, where he's a guest, he often speaks about this, he says, like, the black guys have the fullness, but the white guys have the dryness, and he calls that Caucasian dry, and I don't know who is running this page, but apparently it's a fan of bodybuilding, because whoever is running it is watching the podcast, is following the subculture, and I found this comment hilarious, it was really, it was really funny when I saw this, and it's true, James really seems to be bringing that dryness that he often speaks about, uh, he is not there yet, you can see the glutes, I would like to see more separation, so in four weeks, hopefully he will get, like, crispy, but he's definitely getting there, it looks like he is gonna bring his best conditioning of his life, I don't think he is going to be at his biggest, but if everything goes well, he's going to be in his best shape, and he's going to be just big enough, and that, that game plan might play out really well, for James, we'll see, but it's definitely a different approach than he had for the past, uh, for the last year, for the last season, because he went for that fullness, crazy fullness, without crazy conditioning, and this time, he's bringing that Caucasian dry look. Alright, next, we got an announcement from Martin Fitzwater, and he's officially 10 weeks out of Detroit Pro, the Fuad Abiyat show, he's promoting that show, and Martin is apparently doing it, uh, he was, he tried to get to the Arnold Classic, but 
he didn't get the invite and he left us wondering what show he's gonna do he didn't apply for the arnold uk in time so he decided to do the detroit pro which i think can be a pretty good show because the prize money is also bigger than majority of the shows of the regular pro shows uh, they are focusing only on open bodybuilding and I believe classic physique or maybe 212, I'm not sure, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but they're focusing on open bodybuilding and that's why the prize money is bigger because they're not spreading the money in thousand divisions, they're gonna focus on bodybuilding and I like that, I mean that's basically the main reason why people are going to bodybuilding shows unless they're supporting their friends and family, they're going to see the best of the best, the open bodybuilders. I don't know who else is competing at that show really, Fuad is joking around often and he's saying that like Chris Bumster is gonna, I don't know, make his open debut or that he's emceeing or that Jay Cutler is making a comeback and like he's joking like that, I don't really know who is actually doing this show, I think James Hollins had actually said that he was gonna do it but I don't know how certain that is, at this point I don't know, I only know about Martin Fitzwater because I can see that he actually wrote in the caption right there, that's his focus, he's doing the Detroit Pro and uh, in this physique update, you know, I gotta say, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I mean, I don't know if it is only like the angle, but he kind of looks stretched out, right, he looks thinner, he looks smaller than before, I think last time we saw him compete, 10 weeks out, I think he was just bigger, fuller, rounder, Maybe the approach is different, maybe he was like off the gear for a while and now he's gonna start blasting and prepping at the same time and like growing into the show to a certain point, I don't know, but like seeing these physique updates, honestly, I'm, like, I'm not blown away. Here's another one, the same thing basically, like everything is there but it's all kind of stretched, he seems just, you know, thinner, I mean his conditioning is very good for 10 weeks out, there is that. But this is what he looked like at the Texas Pro where he almost beat Andrew Jack. I mean, he was really big at his show. Sure, he's a shorter guy, he's not as big as tall as Andrew Jack, but for his height, he was packing some tissue, man. Like he was he was really big and now in these photos he doesn't look like this. Let's be honest, like he doesn't have this kind of size and roundness. I don't know if he's going to get it though. I mean, the last time he prepped with Branch Warren and Branch really picked him well, like he was blasting full and super shredded, he kind of had that Caucasian dry look, right, like Branch, Branch was known for that kind of look, like he was always rock hard and he kind of brought the same from Martin, so that was a really good collaboration, unfortunately they're not really working together anymore, I don't know who's prepping Martin at this point, but he better find a good coach because him prepping alone or something like that, I don't think that's a good idea, you guys probably know that Martin is kind of like a problematic guy, like he had some issues during his career, so I feel like he needs somebody to keep him like mentally stable, right, if he has proper guidance, he can do really well, he can even win this show if he brings something similar to the Texas Pro version, but is that gonna be the case? I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me down below, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to support me, help me reach 50k subscribers, guys, please, just click that subscribe button, thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.